Morning, everybody. Grab a cup of coffee and a donut or three, and let's do some switching. We'll get to the switching in just a minute. Um, see, I've got my new East Terminal Railway t-shirt on. Here's the back of it. Just took out the package today. So if you haven't subscribed to those guys, just check them out. It's father and son trying to revitalize a short spur, um, putting their own money up. They're not making, I don't know them, never met them, no affiliation with them. Um, and they don't want your money. They don't want investors. They don't, they don't have Patreon. They don't, they're not asking for any money. They don't want donations. However, they do have some merchandise things for sale if you want to contribute that way. Their engine just got vandalized. They got an old 50 ton GE center cab trying to, they got it running, uh, but it's out in the middle of nowhere and somebody found it and busted some windows out of it. Probably lucky they didn't do more than that. Uh, so every little bit helps. So if you like what they're doing, buy a t-shirt. You know, <laughs> I don't know how much money they get out of it, but it's something they don't have now. So. And I enjoy watching their videos. Plus, if you model the DT&I, you can sort of make your engines disappear. All right. Enough for selling this. Let's get to the switching. So let's pick up where we left off. Uh, we need to switch Union Spring, which is the building in the very bottom right of the frame. And I swear I didn't see the <laughs> light valence <laughs> when I was filming this, sticking in. Uh, so what we need to do is swap out the uh, loaded gondola of steel rods uh, they make springs for railroad cars for an empty gondola So it's pretty tough to film this industry because it's facing away from the aisle. So I kept moving the camera around as much as I could, but man, it's just really tough, especially if you're focused on not getting uh, any of the fascia. Something I didn't realize, pretty much till I watched the video, uh, this gondola is one of the ones that I lowered, uh, I lowered the body on the frame uh, so it didn't sit so high, so it looks a lot better. Basically what I did was I got rid of the four, and so now the metal weight is the four. So I really need to paint that black. Uh, don't usually film looking down on it, so. Um, after this car makes it back to the yard and back to the storage box, I'll paint the floor black anyhow. And I'll check the other ones I've got that I've done that too <laughs> to see if I need to paint them. So I'm just going to spot the empty gone and then uh, pull up and push the full one in. I want to thank Rick from uh, SoCal Models for sharing the link to my channel. I picked up about 40 subscribers in the last day, uh, really unexpected. So welcome to all the new subscribers, and if you have any questions uh, about the layout or anything else or comments, uh, I answer every comment. So even if it's nothing more than a thank you, I, I will answer, acknowledge everyone. So uh, feel free to ask away.
This is a Kato NW2. Uh, runs fantastic. It doesn't have any sound. It's my only issue with it. But uh, it's a great runner. So I'm going to go back and pick up the uh, empty gondola and then we'll pull across Douglas Avenue and back back down onto the train. Apart from moving the camera around, I try to do as little entertaining as possible. So you'll see me throw switches and you'll see me uncouple cars. Um, I don't pretend that I'm not interacting in that way. So the rest of the industries we have to switch are going to require a runaround move. So after I couple onto the rest of the train, we're going to pull back through the crossovers onto this uh, passing siding and uh, get out of the way. That way I can uh, run around the train. The one thing about the Kato, it doesn't start as smoothly as some of my Atlas engines. It will run pretty slow, but it just doesn't. It's hard to ease it forward. So as soon as the train makes it onto the siding, or throw the turnouts, uh, the dispatcher told us that the DTNI or the Oak Hill turn is coming. Uh, so we're going to have to wait for it to uh, run, run past on the main before we can resume switching in part three. Back on the overpass, and here comes the Oak Hill turn. So after he cro crosses the bridge down there, we'll end the video. Um, try to keep my videos fairly short, uh, but I'll maybe have three or four a week too by doing that. Uh, it's rare that I'll have a 20 minute video. That's, that's pretty rare. Usually they're uh, 10, 12 minutes, something like that. But after he crosses the bridge, we'll end and we'll pick up with uh, part three later in the week. Here he is crossing Grassy Fork. So again, thanks to the new subscribers. And uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Always welcome. So everybody stay safe.